Get ready with me while I'm gonna go to work. This is my first longer get ready with me. For a quick, simple makeup, go to work look. This is my first get ready with me that I am filming on the front facing camera. So I'm kind of figuring out where my eyes are gonna go, but if I keep looking over at myself, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm going off to work and I'm trying to not really cut this down that much. So I'm doing a quick get ready with me. And here's my favorite little on the go, simple makeup. This is the tried and true of my makeup routine, the Everyday Oil. Amazing. I use it almost every day. It has organic coconut oil, olive oil, jabobo, castor, argan oil, and has essential oils of Palo Santo, lavender, geranium, clary sage, and wild harvested. They're all wild harvested um, plants, so it's pretty amazing. I start by just lightly a little aromatherapy. It smells divine. A little gua sha action. I recently saw Chris Olson post on his TikTok that he reposted somebody else. Um, from YouTube who had like no followers and her account blew up and I was like, oh my god, that is a dream. It is so cool. I love watching creators support other creators and it just inspired me to make this like, get ready, get ready with me video. Um, you know, it feels so funny because it's just some, a little simple look, you know? I always do the gua sha around my lips and honestly, like it really helps strengthen the muscles around them and naturally pump them up. I feel like I don't like watch a lot of people do the, the gua sha around their lips, but I stand by it. Three minutes, okay. Okay, so then we have oil. Now I'm gonna do a little, I'm gonna do a little glow serum. I know, I know everybody loves it. She's a fan favorite. I just like tap it on and I press it in. I rub it and I press it in, I press it in. Truly, I sometimes put on like concealer over this and I really think you can tell the difference in the skin of this like undertone glow when it comes to like the glow serum. Um, she's popular, but I feel like popular for a reason. Okay. A brand I do not see talked about enough. Poppy and Pout. Poppy and Pout is my favorite chapstick. I've never been sponsored, I'm not sponsored by any of these, but Poppy and Pout is that girl. Poppy and Pout is that girl. She's amazing, truly. I have so many of their freaking ones just right here in my vanity alone. I have these four, these four flavors, these four scents, whatever, whatever. And I love them, I love them. They're addicting and I have more in my purses. The make of the balm is just so universally soothing, healing. The, the flavors of the scents are like delicious. It's all natural. They come in like um, recyclable packaging. And truly like there's, this is the lip balm that like I just really feel the effects of. It is so nourishing. So we'll stand on this. I will stand on this hill. I also like to put it underneath my eyes and like on my eyelids and my eyebrows. I don't use an eyebrow gel. I usually just put a little chapstick on it. And I don't know. Uh, my skin around my eyes uh, thanks me for it. So I just rub it in a little bit. Okay, we're at five minutes. So I gotta go in two minutes. <laughs> now that I'm on camera, I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> Um, okay, so then, oof, don't judge me for my dirty spoolie, <laughs> but sometimes I take a little spoolie and I'll just zhuzh up my eyebrows a little bit. I need to clean her, I really do. She has a little bit of color on her, okay. That's all I do to my brows, I have naturally really thick brows, so like really they do not need much. We're just going to come in with a little bit of that. Um, Sephora best skin ever concealer. Put a little, little, little. I have like blue under my eyes, like my veins. I have those blue veins that you can see. So sometimes I just like touch it up. It's really what I'm covering up. Oh, 
I'll actually go around my little beauty marks there. Touch up a little bit of the skin. My skin is like breaking out. I'm allergic to cane sugar and sometimes I accidentally eat something with it. I usually try to like avoid cane sugar at all costs, but you know, it's hard to do in a world where even food out has cane sugar. So I have a breakout on my cheek a little bit. Sometimes they get really bad. The other day I woke up with like welts on my face. It was awful. Um, that's what happens when you have food sensitivities. We are in a healing journey. Okay, so I make sure to go like around my mole on my face because I like to still see, I like to like see that. My moles were like my, my favorite little things. They're so cute. They're just so prima donna, you know? Story about my beauty marks though is that as I've gotten older, this one has started to fade. Apparently that's normal. Apparently that's totally normal for um, them to do, which is tragically heartbreaking to me because I love them. It used to be really dark. They both used to be really dark and now they're just medium. And this one, even the top of it is starting to disappear a little bit. You cannot get a tattoo over your moles because the doctors need to be able to see, like the graph of the skin underneath has to be clear to check for cancer. So can't get a tattoo over them, unfortunately, but I could henna them. I don't have henna right now, so I'm not doing that. But I do touch it up with a little eyebrow pencil just to make them a little bit more filled in. Touching it up. The perfume I'm using is a perfume from Dolly Moo, this witch's company in New Jersey. I have a full collection of their perfumes. If you want a haul on those, I can go in depth. This one is the Sugar Plum Fairy Sugar Plum perfume from last Christmas. It smells divine. It's like vanilla and plum, and it is so decadent and fragrant. It's really warm. It has the slightest note of amber underneath, so I really love that. The last little element of my quick get ready with me is this candy paint heart. Truly, she is the a girl of the moment. This is Velvet Tiger, and it's a cheek and lip tint, and truly, it does it all. I'll put it on my lips. Put it on my my cheeks. It is glowing. It is creamy. It is buildable. It's really nice, and it comes with this like iconic, cute little heart. Um, really easy to throw in your purse, so I'm loving that. I usually like dab and then I rub it in. Put it on my eyes a little bit. Flush it out. Flush it out. I put a little bit much on my nose. And that's my little like makeup, no makeup look. Pop that back in my purse. I like to touch it up throughout the day. That's my little no makeup makeup look. Um, if I'm feeling a little fancy, if she's feeling a little extra, maybe I'm gonna put on a little mascara. I love the clean beauty element of this um, mascara, the Zara & Co. But I will say I don't like how it actually does rub off really easily. Um, probably because it has like nice clean ingredients but it's very watery. So I actually like to build it um, as a base coat usually and put on another mascara as like a little thicker element. This one gets a lot of the fine hairs. Um, this gets a lot of the fine hairs, but like, it's not my, it's not my glam mascara, you know what I mean? And she just rubs off so easily, so it's really just like a very subtle look. And there you go. This is my, um, Simple get ready with me, no makeup, makeup look. If you like this video, make sure to follow and subscribe. <laughs> I hate, I hate saying that. You know what to do. Also shout out if you liked my shirt or if you noticed this little moment. It's my There's a Little Witch sweatshirt that you can find on my Etsy. Okay, thank you, love you, bye.